Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I got another quick video here with y'all. I mean, here for y'all and stuff. I'm about to show you guys how to check if a player is in a group and stuff, and if they not only are in the group, if they meet if they are certain like rank requirement within the group. All right. So for this video in particular, I'm going to be using my uh my Roblox group, which is link is can be found in the description, the no cap studio group and stuff. So just just to uh clarify, um. There are two different ways you can do is you can either check uh, the players like rank like number rank within the group because each rank in a Roblox group has a uh, like number assigned to it and stuff right like each role has a has a rank which is a number the rank is the number the role is the name like the actual word like for example like the 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 highest role is owner right the role is owner but the rank is 200, 255 because that is the highest rank. It goes from zero to 255, right? That's pretty much how you would explain it, pretty much. But anyway, um, yeah, though, and stuff. So I'm, let's get straight into it. Okay, so we'll insert a script into server script service, right? We'll call this our check player script, feel me? And then let's do game.players.playeradded colon connect function in parentheses, put PLR, which is short for player, then press enter on the outside of those parentheses. Then we're gonna do if player then player is in group, then you would put the group ID here. I'm gonna get my group ID. You get the group ID by simply going to your group and then you look in the URL at the top of your uh, web page and then you see the number, it literally says ID with the equal sign and you get those numbers. This is my group ID, right? If player is in group, right? So the way this would work is, it's pretty much just saying as long as the person is a member of the group, it will then do this and stuff. If you ever joined a game, you ever wondered how like it says like if if you're a oh if you're a part of our group, you get two times cash or you get a daily reward or something like that. This is how they check. This, this is what they're doing and stuff. They're checking when you join the when you join the game if you um well, not necessarily if you join the game, but just do a function where if you're in a part of the group, you get the reward and stuff, right? Now for things like admin commands and stuff, you would majority of game like big games use like group like use group rings and stuff. So what they would do is if player is in group, and then they would also they would throw on an and. They would do and player is I believe rank or no. It's like it's something rank role. Get rank and group. Yeah, sorry. It's get rank and group, then you put the group you put the group number, right? The group ID I should say, right? Again. And then you would uh, you would then do like a greater than or equal or less than equal. It doesn't really matter, but whatever you're going for here, right? So let's say like you had like multiple admin ranks or just generally staff ranks, right? Like you had like mod moderators, administrators, uh, head mod, head admin, and owner, right? Say if you say if you had stuff like that, then instead of just doing like is equal to two uh, fifty five, which is the highest rank, which is owner, you could do greater than or equal to and then you could do like 240 you feel me you could do 240 and stuff which pretty much is meaning i mean meaning which pretty much is saying is if the player is one a part of the group and if their rank it in the group is greater than or equal to 240 then they will um what's it called then it will proceed to do this or you could do get rolling group which get rolling group you would put the actual uh, what's it called the actual like name of the role right but yeah and stuff so i'm going to show you guys real quick right so um obviously since i am the owner of the new cap studio group it's obviously gonna this is obviously gonna work so we can do print test right we can, or no, no no we can do print player is a staff member slash owner right and then we'll do else print player is not a staff member slash owner right so we can go ahead and click, click play, I should say, right? We can go ahead and test this. Click play, right? Player is a staff member slash owner. Since of course I'm the owner, my uh, rank is higher than that. Now, if I were to say, uh, hmm, let me use a random group, right? I'm, I'm gonna just go to my groups and stuff. I'm gonna just use a random group, right? Um, Oh, I don't know if y'all know uh, what's it called. Uh, what's it called? ERLC, Emergency Response, Liberty County. Uh, number one, best game, best game of Roblox right now. But anyway, besides the point, right? I'm gonna use their group now. Obviously, since I am not obviously since I'm obviously just a member of the group, I'm not an actual. I'm not actually like 
a high rank, obviously it's not gonna work, right? It'll say watch. It'll say player is not. Yeah, player is not a staff member slash owner, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how you use it and stuff. I hope this video was helpful. It's more of an informative video rather than showing y'all how to do something. Stuff. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, still hope you guys are enjoying your Christmas. Stuff. Having a good day if you do celebrate it. Thank you guys for all the support y'all been showing. Let's get to 360 subs. We real close and stuff. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys.